Most people who work with electronics know of the venerable 741 Integrated Circuit Operational Amplifier, or op-amp. It was invented by Dave Fuligar, who grew up in England, got his first electronics design job at the UK defense contractor Ferranti, developing a terrain-following radar for bombers. In the early 1960s, he emigrated to the States and began working for Fairchild Semiconductor in their research and development department. In 1966, he was assigned a project to develop a new op-amp to be the successor to the popular 709 op-amp IC. His bosses basically told him to make the new IC be like the 709, but with all the specifications being half again as good. But he knew that the biggest problems with the 709 were its idiosyncrasies, not its specifications. It was tricky to stabilize, there was no short circuit protection, and it would latch up and self-destruct in nanoseconds. National Semiconductor's popular LM101 op-amp IC, which had been designed by analog guru Robert Widlar, had already addressed many of the user-friendliness issues of the 709. But even the 101 still required external compensation and had a kludgy front-end bias scheme. Fulgar proposed the internally compensated 741 op-amp in mid-1967, and it has been in production for nearly 50 years, being the most popular op-amp of all time. Fulgar eventually moved into a leadership position at Intersil, and later had a senior position at Maxim before retiring. The folks at Evil Mad Scientist have produced a kit that lets people build the original 741 circuit using discrete components. Their circuit uses 20 bipolar transistors, 11 resistors, 2 diodes, a capacitor, and nothing else. The resulting circuit assembly, although huge by comparison to an actual 741 op-amp IC, can be used as a direct substitute for a 741 IC in almost any working circuit. The main difference is that the discrete kit's input capacitance is considerably different from that of the IC. The kit is called XL741, which presumably means Extra Large 741. It consists of a high-quality double-sided circuit board that has black silk screen to approximate the black color of an actual 741 op-amp IC. The circuit board even has the same width-to-length ratio as a typical 8-pin IC package, and the manufacturer even includes a heavy-gauge anodized aluminum stand that is shaped to resemble the 8 pins of the IC, although the pins are not electronically functional. For the connections, the circuit board has eight terminal posts that screw into threaded fittings that are in turn swaged onto the circuit board. The terminal posts accept bare wire, alligator clips, spade lugs, or ring lugs, and the circuit board also has provision for wires to be soldered directly to pads adjacent to each post. Circuit assembly starts by soldering the 11 resistors, and the circuit board is clearly marked with each resistor value. Next, two diodes and the capacitor are soldered to the circuit board. Next, the 13 NPN transistors and the 7 PNP transistors are soldered to the circuit board. The manufacturer does not include a schematic with the kit, but the schematic and a nice theory of operation document can be downloaded from their website. Finally, the eight color-coded thumb screws are threaded into fittings on the circuit board, and the aluminum stand with its insulating spacers is mounted to the board. The manual recommends testing the 741 circuit by rigging up a simple non-inverting voltage follower circuit, which requires no components other than an input voltage source and a means to monitor the output voltage. Instead of using the voltage follower, I decided to test my kit by making it the center of a non-inverting amplifier with a gain of 2, in other words a voltage doubler. I used two 9-volt batteries for power, a small potentiometer connected across the batteries of the variable input voltage source, and two equal value resistors for the negative feedback. In this circuit configuration, having both feedback resistors of the same value gives the resulting amplifier a gain of 2. I did not connect anything to the optional offset null terminals of the discrete 741. Here is a brief video of the kit in operation with my voltage doubler test circuit. This is the Evil Mad Scientist 741 op amp discrete circuit kit. I've got it connected up to act as a non inverting amplifier with a gain of 2. This point here is the ground. 
This is one of the two resistors setting gain. This is the other resistor setting gain. They're both the same value. And the gain formula for this configuration is feedback resistor over the resistor to ground, or vice versa, it's just the ratio. And so because they're the same value, that equals 1. And then that ratio plus 1, so the gain is 2. Um, <clears throat> so the gain on this is fixed at 2 and then I have a uh, trim pot 5k trim pot wired between the V plus and the V minus terminals with a small resistor on each end mostly just to reach out to the pot um, I could have used a jumper wire but I had some resistors of low value lying around the uh, wiper of the pot goes directly to the plus input, the non-inverting input, whereas the uh, junction of the feedback and ground resistors is on the minus input or inverting input. This point here is the output of the circuit. So the first thing I'm going to do is clip a voltmeter onto the output of the pot and I can see up there that I've got about 1.4 volts. I'm going to clip my other voltmeter onto the output of the circuit and I can see that I've got uh, 2.8 volts. Actually this is 1.42 so you can imagine it be 2.84 uh, and then of course I've got that six down there at the end which rolls up so it's pretty close to being a gain of two. I'm going to mess with the trim pot just a little bit. So I'm going to go up here and crank it up till it gets to be closest I can get it to three volts. This is not a ten turn pot so it's real touchy. Pretty close to three volts. I come down here and my output is 6 volts. What if I crank the pot until I get an output of 5.0? Well, let's say I'll shoot for minus 4 volts. Bring it back a little bit the other way pretty darn close to minus 4 volts. And the input is pretty close to minus 2 volts. So what we have here is a functioning op amp based on the internal circuit of the original 741 implemented with discrete transistors and resistors.